Zany friends, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. And today we are reviewing the book called The Wife Who Knew Too Much by Michelle Campbell. She knew too much. She knew too much. Uh, this is a thriller book that I got for review. I have not read anything by Michelle Campbell, so I really wanted to find out what what is Michelle Campbell about in her writing. This particular book follows a kind of kind of a two-person point of view um in the beginning you are reading a diary of an older woman she's like in her 50s who has made made quite a name for herself in a in a company and i don't remember what kind of company it really is and she says that she suspects certain people and she doesn't give their name of trying to kill her and uh for money or other things yes and um then it kind of switches over to a, a girl who is very like lower middle class she works as a waitress and she sees her ex-boyfriend come into the restaurant that she works in and she was very much heartbroken by him um because he just basically left her in high school but then he grew up to uh, marry this woman who was the head of the company and uh, had been married with him for two years, I want to say. So she comes to, so he, he comes into the restaurant, she meets him, and they kind of hook up a little bit. But again, let's talk about prenups. Um, <laughs> he's in one. So um, he's trying to hide the fact that he kind of had a one-off affair uh, with this, this his ex-girlfriend. So you have the lady and the, her journal diary that takes place in this timeline. And then you have what's happening with the other main character in this timeline. Until it finally kind of matches up the night that she is killed. And so you see what happens to her and you're trying to uh, understand A, who killed the other lady, and B, the, this other woman, she's actually a good person. She's not trying to be in a, a mistress she's not none of that but she's now trying to figure out how because she marries the boyfriend after the other wife dies how did all of this happen like who really killed ah, her and there's the and that's title. why she knows too much <laughs> because she finds she is living in the house where all the evidence is and she's also suspected of murder because it was very convenient that she yeah. married the guy, now lives in the house, and was there the night that the woman was killed. So it all kind of comes together there, and uh, it, it, it provides some really interesting uh, story tropes that I haven't exactly seen, which was interesting to me. That sounds intriguing. Just, like... Uh, it feels almost like we just told you the entire plot, but, but I'm willing to bet that there's so much more that so isn't much matching more. because yeah. uh, th because of one big thing I can see here. The boyfriend didn't move out of the house that has all of this evidence in it, which means he doesn't know the evidence is there, which means he may not actually be as involved in the death as... The, the plot seems to make us look or like. Or is he? Or is he? And he's doing his own. See, now it's a little bit more interesting, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. You're getting it. Yeah. You're getting it. I, 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 yes. I, I, like I said, when I, when we found out, like, how it kind of comes about, you're like, I did not see it coming. Good. I did not. Like, I, I'm not going to say the boyfriend didn't have anything to do with it, but you might not see it coming. Okay. What, what is actually happening? So, I give this book four stars. Um, yes, I, I give it four stars mostly because there was a part in the middle that I was kind of like, all right, all right, all right, get us going, get us going. It, it didn't really follow me through the whole thing, but it was still really good. It was still a really good book, so mm -hmm. I, I recommend it. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.